and be glorified in this place. It's in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. You may be seated. I'm going to be reading from Genesis chapter 13. Genesis chapter 13. Please, if you can, during this prayer and fasting, read verse chapter 14 and chapter 12 and 13 and get the whole gist of everything. But for the purpose of this message, I'm just going to read a few verses. Genesis chapter 13, verse 14. And the Lord said to Abram, after the Lord has separated from him, lift your eyes now and look, and look from the place where you are, northward, southward, eastward, and westward. For all the land which you see, I give to you and your descendants forever. And I will make your descendants as the dust of the earth, so that if a man could number the dust of the earth, then your descendants also could be numbered. Isn't that amazing how God works? From no child to children like dust. That is how God works. God can move you from one to 100 in no time. God can, God can change your life in one second. God can do wonders. He has done wonders before. And God has the capacity to so bless you with that thing you want until you, you don't even want it. I've told you the story of Sister Dorothy looking for a child for, for about 10 years or so. And God gave her two children and one and, and, and a daughter. One day I said, Dorothy, what if you get pregnant? She said, if God drops a child now, she will do, do like this. <laughs> so if God drops a child from heaven, she will do like this. That's how God is. He is more than enough. He is much more. He is a too much God. Jehovah too much. El Shaddai. So he gives Abraham children like, like the sand of the, like dust. Where am I looking at? Descendants cannot, cannot be numbered. So verse 17, let me read 16. And I will make your descendants as the, as the dust of the earth, so that if a man could number the dust of the earth, then your descendants also could be numbered. Arise, walk in the land through its length and width, for I give it to you. Verse 18, then Abraham moved his tent and went and dwelt by the terebinth trees of Mamre, which are in Hebron and built an altar there to the Lord. Amen? Amen? We'll also look at Isaiah chapter 60. Pastor Wilson has already alluded to this, and I'm thankful to God for that. It means that we're all walking by the Spirit. Isaiah chapter 60. Arise, verse 1, arise, shine, for your light has come, and the glory of the Lord is risen upon you. For behold, the darkness shall cover the earth, and deep darkness the people, but the Lord will arise over you. Amen. Oh, come on. The Lord will arise over you. Amen. I said the Lord will arise over you, Amen. and his glory will be seen upon you. Amen. Is there anybody who believes that glory will be seen upon them this year? Yes. Hallelujah. Yes. That the glory of God will be seen upon you. Amen. Amen. So my topic this evening, this morning, is the manifestation of the glory of God, or I will manifest the glory of God in 2019. Amen? So repeat after me, I will manifest the glory of God in 2019. I will manifest the glory of God in 2019. So God begins by saying, arise, arise, stand up, get up. Arise, and not only rise, shine, Amen. shine. Don't be dull, don't be common, don't be ordinary, don't be draped and boring. Shine. Arise and shine. Arise and be beautiful. Arise and smile. Arise and be happy. Arise and demonstrate the glory of God. Arise and be as beautiful as the roses. Arise and shine. In 2019, arise and shine. Hallelujah. Arise and shine. Your light has come. I don't know about you, but my light has come. I'm feeling light all over the place. From the beginning of the, How many of you just feel like something's going to be different this year? Anybody? I, I feel it so much. It, it, doesn't look like, it doesn't feel like it's going to be like the other years. It looks like things are just going to be happening left, right, and center. Beautiful things, bright things, wonderful things. Say amen if you believe that. Yeah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Arise and shine. It's a command. 
for, the, for your light has come. And the glory of the Lord not has risen, not, not, um, not the glory of God will rise or is rising. It has risen. It has risen. The glory of God is hovering all over you. Take a deep breath. Release. That is the glory of God right there. That's the glory of God. The glory of God is in the air, is in the sun, is all over us. The glory of God has risen upon us. What is the glory of God? The glory of God is the presence of God, is the power of God, and is the goodness of God. And it has risen upon us. The glory of God has risen upon us. Hallelujah. It says, darkness will cover the earth, but the Lord will arise over you. There will be poverty around you, but the Lord will make sure you are not poor. Yeah. People will be sick around you, but the Lord will arise over you. Yeah. People will be confused around you, but the Lord will arise over you. Yeah. People will be broke half into the year, but the Lord will arise over you. Yeah. Things will go wrong to others, but to you, God will arise. Yeah. There will be light where you are and darkness somewhere else. There will be joy in your camp and crying somewhere else. The Bible says a thousand will fall here and ten thousand shall not come near you. Only with your eyes will you see. In fact, sometimes you won't even see, you will just hear. Because the glory of the Lord has arisen and his light is upon you. You don't seem to believe this thing. I say light has come upon you. Glory has come upon you. Glory has come upon you. Glory has come upon you. In the name of Jesus. The goodness of God is upon you. The power of God is upon you. And the presence of God is with you. The Bible says his name is Emmanuel. God with us. Clap unto the Lord. <laughs> Hallelujah. Darkness will cover the earth. What is going to happen in these last days is that the world is going to get darker and darker. It's normal now in America for gay, gay life is just... Accept you who is not gay in America is more defensive, it's on the defensive, and the world is going to get darker and darker. People sin, people sin now with no with impunity. But the Bible says, as that is happening on our side, we will be getting holier and holier and light and light because the darker it gets, the lighter we become. Oh, you didn't get that. I said, the darker it becomes in the world, the lighter we would be. The harder it becomes in the world, the easier it will be. Because the glory of God has arisen. It has arisen. Oh, Jesus. The glory of God has arisen upon. The light of God shines. I like that. That means that I will not accept anything contrary to the glory of God. So when malaria comes, I'll say, malaria, no. This body inhabits glory. Yeah, that's what it means. When... when when depression wants to come, you say, nah, uh, uh I have the joy of God. The glory of God has arisen upon me. Put this thing up for me in the Amplified. Chapter 60, verse 1, Amplified. Let's see how the Amplified puts it. Let's read it together. Arise from the depression and the prostration. Read that, read that again. Wait, wait, wait. Where are you right now? Where has life kept you? Do you like where you are now? Do you like the life you are now? Bible says, arise, walk away from it. Walk away from it. You don't like it? No, you don't have to. It says, arise from the depression and prostration, the falling, the, the falling, the, the troubles that circumstances have kept you. Rise to a new life. Get away from toxic relationships. Get away from rejection. Get away from abuse. Get away from sexual immorality. Get away from anything that is of the devil. Arise. Walk away from it. You're not hearing me. You're not hearing me. Like I said last year, walk away from that one room. You've been living in one room for 10 years in Abuja. You they craze? Now only you then cause Abuja. Walk away from it. You don't like it, walk away from it. Walk away from it. Tell that room, room, your days are numbered. I refuse to live in you past next month. And the glory, see, it is what you tolerate that, you, that stays. If you tolerate it, it stays. The Bible says, 
do arise from those circumstances. Rise to a new life. Is there a woman here whom, whose husband has been beaten? Walk away. Walk away. You didn't, he said, Pastor, divorce. I didn't say divorce, but walk away. <laughs> walk away. Don't stay one more day. You are created in the image of God. God loves you. There is no man that should lay his hands on you. Walk away. See, ladies, look at me. The first day that man hit you, you stayed. You entered trouble. The first slap is the last, should be the last slap. He shouldn't find you again to slap you. You don't walk, you don't walk her. You don't walk her. Now you only you walk her go that marriage. Now you only you go walk her come out. <laughs> In other words, no man, no woman should slap you. Nobody should tell you you are nothing. Nobody should walk all over you. Nobody should diminish and demean you. Nobody should rubbish you. Nobody should tell you you are a nobody. Because the glory of the Lord has risen upon you. The Bible says, walk away. Get a life. Get a new life. Get away from a bad relationship. Get away from a toxic relationship. Get away from a friend that keeps telling you you are not good enough. Don't manage a friend. Don't manage a husband. Don't manage any relationship. Kai, don't manage a church. If you don't like this church, walk away. Walk away. Walk away. You don't like Pastor Sarah? Walk away. Because she is the pastor of this church. No, she's not one of the pastors. She's the pastor. You don't like Pastor Sarah? Take a walk. You have a right to enjoy this life. You live only once. You live only once. You die only once. Don't let somebody mess up your living. Don't let anybody mess up your breathing, your existence. Anywhere you are and they are not celebrating you, walk away. Get you a new life. Walk away. It's a new year. It's a new year. It's a new year. No. Don't manage a job. Some, some relationships, some girlfriends are just hard work. No. At 60, you are behaving like we are 20 years or 15 years. No, 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 no. I, I'm gone. Like I left since, since. Walk away. For your light has come. It is when you are in darkness that you tolerate certain things. It is when you are in darkness that you manage certain things. It is when you are in darkness that you accept boyfriend slap you. He said, but pastor, he, he said he's sorry. <laughs> Boyfriend. I don't know what to say. Preaching has finished in my mouth. Boyfriend, slap you. You're saying, pastor, you know, he, he, he is improving. <laughs> the last time he slapped me was just last week. Before, he used to slap me every day. You don't mad, you don't craze. Okay, I need to mind my business now. Arise from abuse. Arise from shame. Get over it. The person has dumped you. Don't fast now. Move. Pastor Ina said long ago, don't create a, a tent over a bad situation, a negative. Don't, don't build a house there. It, you have failed, 419 have chopped your money, he has ditched you, evil has happened, go on. That's not the end of life. There is still a brighter life in front of you. There is still victory in front of you. There is still success in front of you. Somebody ought to clap onto the Lord because I'm telling you the truth. Walk away from that rejection. Anybody that Rejects you, there are 10 people that are waiting to celebrate you. I don't understand how boyfriend with a rubbish girl. See, that, that one, they worry me. No, I know if he pass. He says, it because I, I'm, I'm, I'm keeping you, there are many girls that are, it's a lie. Make it go now. Let him leave you. Walk away from it. Walk away from pain. The person has died. The husband has died. There's nothing. You, you can't bring them back to life again. Walk. Move. Go to the next level. Walk away from pain. Walk away from sorrow. Walk away from depression. 
Walk away from sickness. Tell your you know, body, this 2019, you will line up. Tell your body, body, you will line up. The glory of the Lord has risen upon me. I reject and refuse you. I refuse you accommodation in my body. Arise from the depression and prostration in which circumstances have kept you. You've been poor for too long. You don't do. You don't poor. You don't tire now. You they work, they work for leg over 10 years. Not only you didn't curse. Not only you know if you buy motor for Abuja. This year say enough. See, as long as you tolerate anything, it will continue. A time comes when you say it's enough. Or you have a car that is always riding you. You are not riding it. Every day, say, take me to mechanic, take me to every day, mechanic, mechanic. You put petrol, by the time you move, you say, no, I need more. So all your money, petrol, mechanic, petrol, mechanic, no. It better make you work out. It's better to work out. See, there are certain things, eh? It's better to pack that car, leave it somewhere. One day, just say bye-bye and walk away and leave it. Just leave it with the key, with everything. Leave it and walk away. Not be by force. They don't burn you with car, come. God not gonna mess you up. See, certain things you just need to walk, you deliberately just walk away. Arise and shine. Arise and shine. 2019, arise and shine. Shine, shine, shine. Arise, arise, arise. Shine, shine, shine. Tell yourself, call yourself, Sarah, arise and shine. Sonny. Arise and shine. Arise and shine. Arise and shine. Are you still doing lesson? You are still doing lesson. You do. Build a school. It's there. It's build a school. 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 Own a school. Own a school. In the name of Jesus. Start with a house, get a rent, 1.5 million, two rooms, three rooms, let it be yours. Employ people, let them teach and you pay them. It's enough, you have done lessons enough. Arise and shine. Somebody ought to clap unto the Lord. Hallelujah. 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 So now I'm going to help you start a school. Yes. 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 We are going to start small. We are going to get a house. We are going to get a house. Find a house. I'll pay the rent and you begin. Jesus. Arise. Tell your neighbor, arise. 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 Enough is enough. Down. Hell, I felt that in the bottom of my soul. Change the narrative. Change the narrative. Change the story. Change the trajectory of your life. I, somebody sent me a post last two days ago. It's a boy who went to a witch doctor. And he wanted the witch doctor to tell him about... His future, his, his um, destiny. How many of you have seen that post? Okay, many people have not. So he went to the witch doctor, paid his money and sat down. And the witch doctor drew two circles. One was black, one was white. And he brought a millipede. And put it on the paper. He says, wherever this millipede stays, that is your destiny. And so the boy begins to watch. And the millipede begins to go... Go, go, and he goes towards the white paper, and the boy is so happy. But just as he was about to enter the circle, he turned away and began to go through the black. The boy has the boy is watching this and saying, Me, now me pay my money, come here. <laughs> now me carry my money, now me carry, nobody say they, they can't, now me carry, come. And I go sit down here, make millipede, tell me my life. He carried the millipede and put it on the white. I came to tell somebody here today that you need to change the course of your life. 
You need to tell the devil you can't take me there. I'm not going there. Carry your life and put it where you... Somebody shout! No, 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 I've come too far. I have suffered. Some of somebody needs to say, I have suffered too much. I have prayed too much. I have given too much tithe and offering. I have come to church so much. Satan, I will not allow you to keep me there. Me, I will carry myself to where I want to be. The Bible says, You shall make your way prosperous and you shall have good. I want to tell somebody today that your destiny is in your. Clap on to hey, hey. You determine your future. You determine the glory that comes to you. Hallelujah. Arise and do something different. I want you to know that God loves you. God loves us. As I waited on the Lord for the word of the year, my heart just kept going back to the love of God. I couldn't see God pass a father. And there is no good father who has a good head on his shoulders who will want any of his children to suffer. And I kept hearing God. No matter what I tried to feel was the word of God, he pulled me back, tell them I love them. So I, I, I couldn't go away from it. So God said, you know what? That was when God told me to tell you to write your own ticket. So my 2019, 2019, what did I say? How, how did I say it? Where is it? Okay, so I heard that you should write 2019, my year of, my year of. And as I heard that, I heard the Spirit of God say, I want them to have no limits. Let them write anything. And I know like my name is Sarah and like I stand here under God, that I heard God say, no matter what they write, I will exceed it. No matter what they write, I will exceed it. Have you ever seen God do, so, do something just enough? It's impossible. He can't. He doesn't even have the capacity to do just enough. He is El Shaddai, the God who is more than enough. So if you ask for one, God gives you 20. Because he wants you to bless somebody else. Blessed to be a blessing. And so God told me that whatever you wrote... He was, there was going to be no limit. I want you to know that God is about to do an awesome thing on earth. All over the world, in the body of Christ, there has been a sense in that 2019 is going to be a special year. Genuine good men of God, I've heard them. They're saying that this is going to be the best year ever. This is going to be your best year yet. Collect it. Take it. Believe it. That this is, something is about to happen on the earth. And I want you to cash in on it. I don't want you to be a, by, a, a by looker. Is that what they say? <laughs> Bystander. Mm, I know something was wrong. Jesus said to her, <laughs> Jesus said to her, didn't I tell you that if you believe, you will see the glory of God? If you believe that this year is going to be the best year ever, you will see the glory of God. <laughs> If you believe that this is going to be your prosperous year, you will see the glory of God. Jesus said, if you only need to believe. If you believe, you will see. So say, I believe. I believe. Therefore, I will see. Therefore. How many of you will see the glory of God this year? Yes. Hallelujah. Yes. So God told Abraham, as far as you can see. He said, look, I like God. He said, look not. Not. Look south. You know, as soon as I talk, I don't get TH anymore. North, south. And then when you are supposed to say east, you say east. Where there's not supposed to be TH, that's where they will say two instead of two. Anyway, God said, look north. <laughs> Let me get out of you people's wahala. Look north, look south, look east, look west. From where you are standing. He said, anything you can see. I give you. Has God changed? My God has changed. Has God changed? 
My God will never change. He's the same yesterday, today, and forever. Has God changed? My God will never change. So the same thing he said to Abraham, he's saying to you, as far as you can see, if you can see it and believe it, I'll give you. And that was why he said to write your own ticket. What are you seeing? What can you see? Can you? And you see, I like the fact that God said you should write your ticket. Because see, this year God did not want me to impose any word for you. He told you to write your own word because you know what is paining you. You know where you need him the most. And so you're going to say the word to your customized bespoke, bespoke word. So that you can believe. If I tell you to believe now that uh, we are going to build a church like a, like a dunamis, you may not have the faith. But if I tell you, write your own ticket, you write what is worrying you. You say, this year is my year of no pain on my toe. So you say that because God knows you will have the faith to believe. So God has given you permission to, to, prof, to profit, to, to progress, to move forward by the word of your mouth. So how far can you see? What are you seeing? If you can see it, if you can believe it, you will have it. Somebody say amen. amen. So your part is to see. Let me show you God's part. Psalm 84. Psalm 84 verse 11. Quickly please. Let me be reading it in my Bible. Eight more minutes. For the Lord God. Let's read it together. No, 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 no. Everybody. Wait, isn't that intriguing? Him alone is on. Him alone is umbrella. <laughs> he can do anything. He can be anything. He is son. He is shield. Okay, so let's read on. The law. Again. Next. So keep that scripture right there. Let me show you something. Your part is to believe. Your part is to write. Is to write what you can see. God's part is to give you grace and glory. If you can believe, there will be grace, there will be glory. If you can believe, there will be grace, there will be glory. And no good thing will he withhold from you. What is that thing you say... 2019, my year of, your year of healing, your year of, what did you say? No limits. No, no, no limits is um, amorphous. But your year of, of um, progress, I'm going to finish college this year. So if you can believe that, then God will release the grace and the glory. The glory is the strength, is the presence. He will be with you. He will give you power. And he'll give you any good thing you need to finish that. So he will not withhold that no limits from you. He will not withhold the healing of your toe from you. He will not withhold the husband from you. He will not withhold the wife from you. If you can believe, he will give grace. His role is to give grace and glory. And no good thing. We don't believe God, do we? We don't believe. No good thing. Meaning that if you need it, God will give you. In order for, maybe I'll find a place, a better place to say what I want to say. But let me move on. So what do I need to do to make it happen this year? I have four things. Number one, be specific. Be specific. So you said, like she said, no limits. That is amorphous. So we need to break it down. We need to say, what, is, what will no limits look like? You build a house, very good. What else? You will expand your business from where to where. Open another branch. What else will no limit mean? 